Um, what you're looking at now is just the uh, the lambda probe connected to the engine. It's a little gauge that uh, analyzes the exhaust gases, um, and it can give me the heads up on uh, what's happening on, um, with the state of tune of the engine. So you see at the moment it's running at lambda one, which is the uh, sort of ideal sort of situation. I just want to show you a few things as to what happens. Um, if it goes to round to the right hand side then um, and higher than one that shows it's running lean and if it goes round to the left the little LED lights here and goes less than one that shows it's, uh, it's running rich um, but you can see as I'm driving along um, it's, uh, it's keeping it quite uh, quite even at the moment because um, I'm just sort of cruising on the uh, on the throttle um, if I just uh, it's a bit difficult on uh, on this road. So it's quite uh, it's quite twisty. If I just find a place where I can go full throttle, um, so that's full throttle now. You can see it's dipped down um, to 0.9. That just shows it was uh, it was running rich. That's the sort of fuel enrichment um, that the uh, that the injection system does. It sort of gives you an extra little bit of a boost when you're uh, when you're going full throttle, um, and obviously that's why. When you are going full throttle, it uses more uh, more fuel. So there we are again. That's full throttle. So it's dipped down to 0.9. Um, and if I back off now, you can see that's now the injection system has now cut off the fuel because I've got my foot off the accelerator, um, and that's running very lean because effectively the uh, the injectors have been shut down. Um, and that's what your throttle position switch does. Um, that little switch underneath uh, the uh, the throttle that just tells the engine when uh, when you've got your foot off the gas, so that when you're coasting down a hill, for instance, um, the engine isn't sucking petrol through it, which um, on a carburetor engine it always does. When it's sucking air through the engine, um, then it will be uh, drawing fuel through as well. So. Um, so that's the that's how that works, um, and I'm surprised. I mean, you can see it, it really holds the. Although we're sort of changing speed all the time, it manages to keep the uh, the injection system to you know about lambda one, you know, really quite well until you sort of pull off the throttle like that, or um, or accelerate heavily and it um, and it goes rich. So I'll just try and do, I'll do a little bit of acceleration. So that's full throttle. You can see for all that full throttle, that was uh, that was going quite rich. And now I'm backing off. It's gone very lean. Um, and then as soon as you pick the throttle up again, there like that, I'm just cruising now. Um, it goes back to lambda one. I think it's a it's a very clever system. Is the uh, the fuel pressure regulator? And you can see it's running at uh, 30 psi. And if I spin the engine up, you'll see the uh, the fuel pressure go up. Um, and attached to the fuel pressure regulator is the vacuum hose which uh, under full acceleration um, it can raise the fuel, fuel pressure. I've just been having a go at adjusting the, um, the mixture and uh, I can just confirm that using the lambda gauge on the, uh, on the front of the car um, that adjusting this makes no difference to the, uh, the richness of the mixture on, uh, on full power. Um, settings it only seems to make a difference at, uh, at idle um, so I've just noticed that it's just been running slightly rich sometimes you can perhaps hear it now um, it's just slightly verbally and I've just been trying to uh, just adjust that out a little bit so uh, so that's my engine